Hi guys, today I have my review on the Wet n Wild brushes that recently launched. These are brand new in drugstores and they're super hard to get because everywhere I've gone they've been sold out so I kind of accumulated them little by little in some drugstores I found more than others. I'm still missing two of them from the collection. One is for kind of like eyebrows or eyeliner and the other one is a blush brush. Um, but I feel like I basically have a good concept of the line with um, all the rest of the brushes to kind of know that those two are going to be just as good. So first up, I'm going to go through all of the brushes and kind of give you what I would use them for or what I use them for and also um, kind of just give you my opinion on them. So first and foremost, the brushes themselves are just a white handle and white ferrule and they have the logo of Wet n Wild. They are white and they have um, kind of like a pink um, tone to them as well so they're kind of like duo colored they have pink and white some of them have the tip white while other ones have the bottom in white I mean in pink <laughs> or vice versa okay so first off is the um, foundation brush and you're gonna see here that it is shedding as you can see right there so I was kind of disappointed that it started shedding after about a week or so and that's one of the reasons that I like to kind of test things out with for the long run a lot of times, especially with brushes, I always say this in reviews, that you don't really know about a brush until you've used it for a long time. So if you've had it for a few years and it's still going good, you're like, wow, you know, it was really worth the price points. And then there's other brushes where, you know, you'll pay a lot of money and then if you like from the get-go they're scratchy or itchy or they start shedding um, with this one the first few times that I used it it didn't shed or anything like that just recently it shed quite a few hairs um, even so I will recommend this brush just because it is three dollars and it is amazing it's super soft it does really blend the foundation really nicely I wish it was a little bit more dense but even though it's not as dense as I like it I still feel like it really buffs out my foundation nicely and when when I do post this um, tutorial up, I did use this to um, apply my fine, my foundation today and it did a really great job. It, and another thing that I forgot to mention is that it does have like a little notch here on the handle just so that you can put your um, thumb there and really hold them in place. Next up is the powder brush. This one has not shed whatsoever. Really nice and soft. The tip is actually pink. They are dirty just because I have been using them like crazy, but it is pink and you can kind of see the pink flowing through right there and I really love this just for applying powder even for blush or to um, blend out br blush as well it does a really nice job really nice and soft and I feel I think this one was also three dollars none of them are more expensive than three dollars they're either three dollars or less um, next up is what they call their contour brush it's an angled blush um, kind of like blush brush you can use it for blush or for contouring and highlighting and it does a really great job another one that's really nice and soft their blush brush is more rounded but it's more or less the same size it's a, except for instead of angled it's um, rounded and I feel like that one would be good for blush as well next up is what they call their foundation brush which is just a flat synthetic brush and all of these are synthetic by the way um, this is just a flat brush like this I really like this kind of blush I mean blush this kind of brush for um, my concealer just to blend out my concealer these big um, flat brushes like this you they do a fabulous job of blending out concealer underneath the eye last of the face brushes is this stippling brush it's a really small stippling brush I really like this for cream blushes if I were to use them. I'm not really a fan of cream cream blushes just because of my skin type, but if you had a um if you needed a brush for uh cream blushes, this would definitely be the way. Or also what I really love this for is for liquid highlight or even for regular highlight. This does a really great job and it just fits perfectly into that area that you want to highlight. So really like that for this. Really like this for that. <laughs> Okay, Melissa, I'm backwards. So I picked up four of the five for eye. Like I said, I'm missing that eyeliner or eyebrow angled brush. And I feel like just based on the quality of the rest of these brushes, I feel like th that one would be really nice. So first off is a flat brush like this. This reminds me of the 239 and is really nice for packing on eyeshadow all over the lid. 
Next up, they have what they call a concealer brush, which is this really tiny one right here. I would never use this for concealer just because it would take me forever. I like this more for packing all over the lid or even applying underneath the lash line. Next up is more of a fluffy kind of flat synthetic brush. And I really like this for applying color all over the lid. It picks up color really, really nicely. And I like the fact that it's really fluffy too at the same time because at the same time that you're applying all over the lid, you can actually blend into that crease as well. So really love this one. And last is my all-time favorite one from this whole collection. If you're going to get any of these brushes, get this one. This is their crease brush, and I feel like this is just as good as any other crease brush that I have. It has that same kind of poofiness at the top. It's not as um, precise because it's not, as you can see, it's very fluffy, but this is really good for all over the crease, like for your transition shades, for your um, eyebrow highlights. This is going to do a really good job or even just for after you've applied your shades to go in and blend. This is one of those great brushes. It reminds me of the 224 from MAC, which I don't own, but I hope to own soon. And that it has kind of like that same kind Kind of um, form to it which I really really love um, I'm gonna see if I have any of my brushes here that kind of compare to it um, it kind of reminds me of um, for example this one by it cosmetics this is the blending crease brush as you can see the it cosmetics ones are less fluffier and smaller but it's more or less that same kind of of um, form to it so that's what um, I really like this for and I feel like they did an awesome job. This is something that once they start bringing more into stock at Walgreens, I think that I would pick up a few of these as backups just because they are awesome for blending out and you can never have way too many crease brushes. So that is basically it on my opinion on these. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you seen these? Have you picked them up? What has been your experience with them? Um, like I said, the foundation brush is the only one that is actually shed on me. The rest of them have been doing really good and I have washed them and used them really like a ton as you can see here I've just been getting them super dirty and using them with different products just to see how they work so I'd love to hear back from you guys thank you guys as always for watching for subscribing if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe down below by hitting that red button I love you guys to death and until next time bye guys